Are you looking to take your personal finances to the next level? You're in the right place. Welcome to the Monday Money Tip Podcast, presented by I Was Broke, Now I'm Not, with your host, Joseph Sangle. Welcome to the Monday Money Tip Podcast, presented by Fully Funded Life. My name is Joseph Sangle, and I'm fired up to help you, yes, you, live a fully funded life. That means being able to do exactly what you've been put on earth to do, regardless of the cost or the income it might generate. And I am fired up today to bring you a special guest. Jeannie Henderson is the founder and the owner of Jeannie Cleaning. And you're based where? Kalamazoo, Michigan. Kalamazoo, Michigan. And uh, what type of range does your team of cleaners serve? We really basically just serve our county. So we serve um, throughout this Kalamazoo County in Southwest Michigan. And we serve about 400 families wow. on a regular basis. That's and, incredible. Um, we've been here for seven years. And, and you know, I'm gonna read some of your bio here okay. and maybe we'll take it in pieces. Okay. It says you're the CEO of Jeannie Cleaning. Did you ever dream you'd be a CEO? No, actually, yeah. So I started out my career in the restaurant business, and my husband was the CEO. Okay. And I always thought the husband would be the CEO. <laughs> we've now we've traded roles. And and you're also a business coach. Right. So as we've talked, you you actually coach other people who are starting or trying to grow their cleaning businesses. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm a residential cleaning coach. It's co the program that we teach is called Cleaning Business Fundamentals, mm -hmm. and we we help either start up cleaning businesses or sometimes people who've been in business for decades yeah. fix their business, create the life that they've always dreamed of, just like you, very aligned with your mission, um, and, and help them also help all the people in their yeah. organization. We really teach them to focus. On and it's people. a worldwide impact. Like you were talking about how you've yes. served like three clients in Australia. <laughs> right. I mean, that's pretty amazing that the principles, just like the financial principles I teach mm -hmm. are universal. Right. These fundamentals of this business of serving people in the cleaning business right. are universal, aren't they? Cleaning is, is a universal need, yes. and it's a universal career, and uh, everybody wants their house cleaned, right? Absolutely. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but the cleaning business isn't that different whether you're in Europe or Canada or the U.S. or Australia. Um, and those principles of success within business yeah. are, are pretty much universal. The only difference is maybe regulations. Yeah, that's right. And I'm sure COVID has had a challenge with being able to go into people's houses and things like that. Right. And I feel very blessed to have been part of an organization that helped hundreds of businesses survive COVID. Yeah. And actually come out stronger on the other side. That's so exciting. Yes. And putting people to work, mm -hmm. helping them fund their dreams. Exactly. Uh, I'll finish your bio here and dive in some questions. I can't wait to get these questions. And our focus today is on investing in your employees. And uh, maybe you're an employee, uh, and this is something you could bring to your employer. If you're an employer, this is talking about investing in your employees. Uh, Janie, before joining the cleaning industry, was a partner in over 30 top performing franchise restaurant locations. Uh, Jeannie Cleaning was recognized as a top three partner in 2021 by Cleaning for a Reason by providing, get this, free cleaning for cancer patients. That's incredible. Uh, she's the chairperson of the ISSA Residential Cleaning Council of North America and advocates for local business as a board member of Buy Local Kalamazoo. As a business coach, she loves guiding business leaders towards creating a life of abundance for themselves and their teams. And so there's a wiring here, Jeannie. Yeah. that you're a natural gifted entrepreneur, uh, you want to help others, that if it, I can already see it in you that when you learn something that changes your life, you want to get it to as many people as possible. What causes you to, is that something you had a life experience happen or is it just you've been your wiring all your life? You know, it started at a very young age and I was blessed with an amazing family mm. and um, always thank God for my parents because they modeled this in their lives. Mm. They always were serving others. My father was one who, you know, the proverbial would give the shirt off his back to help anyone. He was constantly helping people without at them asking or without any reward. Mm -hmm. Neighbors serving in the church, serving in the community. Um, all through his life, he took that kind of a leadership role. And so at a very young age, even my grandmother taking me to the local um, hospital and helping disabled adults hmm. uh, when I was very young. It's one of my earliest memories wow. of my grandmother. And I always encourage people to, if you're volunteering, take your kids. Hmm. 
because it impacts their life. There's nothing more rewarding than giving without receiving. Wow. And that's the truth, isn't it? It is. That's, it's such that's the a truth. true definition of generosity. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love that aspect of taking your kids with you, taking, if you don't have kids, taking a, nie a younger niece or nephew, uh, somebody you're influencing, because there's this sh learning that happens when it's a shared experience where you're not focused at each other and there's an awkward silence, but you're serving others. There's such power in that. That's right. awesome. Right. So you're from Michigan? I am. I was born in this town in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I have lived So show for those who don't know Michigan, you got to show the hand. Where right. is it at so on the this hand? This is what Michigan, we're in Mitten, right? Yep, the Mitten. And Kalamazoo is right here. Yeah, just so a little off of center to the south, south and west. west. Halfway between Chicago and Detroit. It's a beautiful area. I love this area. And uh, you're the owner of Genie Cleaning. So tell us how that happened. Yeah, interesting story. So my husband and I were in the restaurant business for over 25 years. That's a tough business. It is. But it's a service business. It is. I, I've always been drawn to customer service. And our goal really was to, we always focused on our team. And this is something I learned from my husband as, as my first business leader. Um, I, you know, worked with him pretty much all my adult life. Hmm. And we... We built these 30 restaurants together over this time, but we foc always focused on our team because we knew if you focus on your team, everything else falls into place. Mm -hmm. And especially, you know, customer service and everything, but that translates into business growth and revenue and profit, all of it, when you focus on your team. And it feels really good. Feels great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and we have team members who come up to us all the time. It just happened recently. My husband is very recognizable. You met him today. And people will walk across a restaurant to come shake his hand and thank him that they learned more lessons about life from him than mm. any employer they've ever had. Maybe even as a teenager. Right. In yes, the formative years. As a teenager years. working yeah. in one of our pizza restaurants. restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, we have people who met their spouses at work, like I did. I met my <laughs> husband at work, you know. So, um, it's, you know, from the very beginning, that has been our philosophy. And we retired out of the restaurant business in 2015. I was working in the nonprofit world. I've always loved serving others. Mm -hmm. I've been on a lot of nonprofit boards. And I actually took a leadership role in a large local nonprofit. But I wasn't used to working for other people, hmm. to be 100% honest. I'm an <laughs> entrepreneur, and if you're an entrepreneur, you know that. I right? know that. I'm unmanageable. Yes, you're unmanageable, I'm too. I'm very unmanageable. <laughs> I have lots of ideas, and I don't want to ask permission to get them done. And I was drawn to getting back into business. We had been talking about that. Some dear friends of ours that we had known from church for years owned a cleaning business hmm. for 14 years, and they wanted to retire. Wow. And they came to us because we had sold our restaurants, and they knew that we knew how to sell a business. Well, my husband looked at that, and he said, this is what we should do. And I said, hmm. you are absolutely nuts. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, I don't know anything about cleaning houses. I don't know anything about that business, you know, and he, he really saw it as my next career. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful yeah. that he pushed. He didn't give up on that idea. We pursued it. We bought that business. We had 54 clients when wow. we bought it. And just describe the business. What type of clients? Okay. Is it yeah, commercial? So Is it residential? It's Is a it residential cleaning business. Okay. Uh, we, you know, like I said, we serve people throughout. You clean our houses. Area. We clean houses, mm -hmm. and we actually started. When we started, we started with 54 clients and three employees. Okay. And inherited employees inherited as part of the purchase. Employees. One of okay. them was here today, <laughs> and um, and then Terry and I actually cleaned as wow. well. So we started out cleaning, and the business grew rapidly, mm. and um, you know, so it. So we started with 54. Within a year, we had doubled the business in size. Wow. We're, we're builders. We like to grow things. Mm -hmm. But it was a mess. Yeah. That's when I met my coach, and I was telling <laughs> you my story, and that's when I was able to fix my business. But since then, we've, we've grown our business to nearly serving 400 families in our wow. community. Um, we, we do a lot to give back, and, and like you know, through meeting you, we do a lot to help our team. That's amazing. And I think about that, you know, when, when you're serving people well, word gets out. And I love this logo. It's behind us here if you're watching on YouTube. And do you have a name for her? Is it just Jeannie? This, this is our Jeannie. This is Jeannie. She's it's, very magical. She's beautiful. She she's very magical. Your, your house is magically She's going to be in a Disney movie soon. <laughs> it's going it to magically clean your house. You put on the movie and your house will get clean. Right. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but we're talking about investing in your employees. And somewhere along the way, uh, we were just in a room today. We're sitting in that room where you met with your team. You do that monthly. It's a mm -hmm. core value of yours. It was very exciting. 
uh, and you had over 20 team members in here, and you have chosen to purchase fully funded life as as a employee benefit. Exactly. So tell us how you ran into this and why you've chosen as a business leader to spend hard-earned money on this. Well, we all know that finance is a really important part of life. Uh, and if we ignore it, it doesn't go away, mm -hmm. as you were talking about earlier. It just gets worse. And I, early in my life, did not make good financial choices. I had money and opportunity to invest and save and didn't. Hmm. And I, I regretted it. And as I looked into the faces of my team, many of them are very young, I see myself hmm. in my you know, first or second job. Yeah. And, I, and we do a lot to make sure our team is paid well. Mm -hmm. But I want to make sure that when I'm paying them well, that they are taking the opportunities that they have now to use those funds to cr create the future of their dreams. Wow. I know that they won't all be with me forever. Yeah, right. that's the way it is. Everybody's temporary. I'm going to be the last one here. <laughs> but I want to know that their time with us impacts their life forever. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that God put them into my life for a reason and that it's my job to follow my heart and help them have a better life. It's actually our our mission statement is making lives better in everything that we do. Yeah. That's our mission statement. That's awesome. And, um, and so I've been searching for a long time because I knew finances were an issue. And if you're an employer, I'm sure you know that, that um, if your employees are struggling financially, they're also struggling in their life. And they, they really don't, they aren't able to show up fully themselves. That's right. They can't give fully of themselves because they've got so much going on in the background. Yeah. But we know that if we help them, like we also do programs around physical health hmm. and we do, you know, programs about giving back because we know that feeds their heart. And, but this, we know if we help them be strong financially, they're going to have a better life. And when they have a better life, they show up better in everything in their relationships and at work and less stress, and less stress. leads to more productivity, more efficiency, right? All of that. You know, it's interesting, you know, Fully Funded Life has courses, as coaching, as challenges, as community. So when, when you're thinking about your team members, and I saw them today, and they are very young. Many of them are in their 20s. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, they're just starting out, so they have, they have this great benefit of time, mm -hmm. you know, and compound interest works great over time, uh, but a lot of them have debt. I saw a lot of them nod their heads when they were talking about debt and right. what it would be like. We had them yell about how they would feel if they woke up tomorrow and all their debt was paid off. So what would be a win? You, you shared at the end of the meeting, uh, hey, I want to hear about some wins. So I want to celebrate some wins. So what would be some wins that you're hoping your team experiences by participating in Fully Funded Life? Well, right after we finished your presentation today, I talked with one of our team members, and she's really fired up. Fired up, <laughs> Yes, I love and it. She's, she's so excited, and she can't wait to meet with one of your coaches. And she said, I can't wait to get out of debt. Hmm. And I said, and I hope that you will do me the honor of allowing me to celebrate with you on that day. Hmm. I don't wherever you are, I want to celebrate with you on that day. That's awesome. And because I know how much that will impact their lives. And I, sorry, I get a little emotional. Absolutely. Because I love, I love people and I love these people. We mm. have an amazing team. And, um, and I just, the, the goal is, you know, yes, it, of course, it's going to help our business when people are financially strong. But my goal is people who, reach their dreams. Thriving they, people. Thriving people that they are able to live out their dreams instead of constantly being caught up in um, having to just get another job to pay off more right. debt. Mm -hmm. Right? We really want them to have that life of freedom to make choices. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? I mean, if you think about team members, I tell my team members all the time, and I think we have almost the same size of team. Oh. I think we have 26 people involved with our stuff. You have over 20, mm -hmm. you're 25. Yeah, 25. And so almost the same size team. And you think about every single day, you may not see them every day, but they're, they're helping advance this, this thing that God, for some reason, put in your way. Uh, and you, it's birthed this beautiful <laughs> Disney princess, Janie. And... <laughs> 
while they're cleaning, they're thinking. While they're cleaning, they're, they're dealing with life. Life happens. And if you can think about that person two years from now, three years from now, now they're debt free. And they've utilized the dollars that they could produce doing any other job. But this job, they thought they were getting a job to clean houses, but they got a job to clean houses, yes, but it actually was going to clean their financial situation up and help them start funding dreams. How awesome is that? Is there any better feeling? There is no better feeling. And I searched for years. I shared this with you. I searched for years to find something that I felt was a really good fit. Mm -hmm. um, and I, actually, the same team member that I was talking to, she said, I loved how he spoke in a way that I could understand mm -hmm. and how you talked about how your coaches also make sure that the the people they're coaching understand that you're not speaking in some financial lingo that goes over their head. Right. And um, she's been baffled, but people um, get intimidated about asking questions because mm -hmm. they don't want to sound stupid, that they don't understand. It's one of the worst card. human feelings right. to feel ignorant. Yeah, to mm -hmm. credit card interest and all this kind of stuff. So to have someone that they can just openly ask questions to, what a huge blessing. And it did. It took us years. But when I found Fully Funded Life, I couldn't wait to sign up our team and give this to our team. I just... That's awesome. So excited. Uh, and we're so grateful. Uh, in fact, I just wanted to tell everybody you're watching on YouTube, this is the person who is the business owner, who's the first business owner to buy this program for all their employees. And so I had our team reach out to you and say, I've got to go see, touch, feel these people that are going to be the beneficiaries of it because I want you and your team to know we're real humans on the other side of this thing. And that when they reach out, when they want a coaching appointment through Fully Funded Life, they're going to get a real human on a Zoom call and there's no sales pitch. And that's one of the things that we commit to do is that we're there to provide education, support, encouragement, more than that, hope, and help them have fun with this thing. Money doesn't have to be terrible. It can be fun. So, you know, I, I want to wrap it up by just saying, you know, all of our employees are temporary employees. They might be three-month employees. They might be 40-year employees. Mm -hmm. And we would love to go a long distance with all our employees. But as a business owner, I think you eloquently said that, that you want them to leave better and you won't have this experience like your husband has in these restaurants of people coming back 20 years later saying, you were awesome to work for. So as we wrap it up, I wanted you to have an opportunity to just say, what is Genie Cleaning? What is the mission statement? What is the passion statement again? And what is one leadership principle that kind of guides you that you would like to share with all those listening today? Yeah, so, well, um, Genie Cleaning is uh, we're a residential cleaning business and we've been doing this for seven years. Our mission is to make lives better in all that we do. Our core values are caring, excellence, and community. And we, it guides all of the decisions and all of the actions that we take in our business. Mm. Um, we love to give back. Um, actually, this year we had our first Making Lives Better Awards where we could um, award organizations in our community who are aligned with our mission. Wow. Um, so that was really cool. And, um, you know, I think when we talk about leadership, there's, there's so much that goes into that. Um, but when it comes down to it, business doesn't exist without people. Hmm. And if we aren't leading our people like they're people, not numbers, um, that we really won't get anywhere. Hmm. Organizations that focus on People are more profitable. They grow faster. Um, if you want to be successful in business, pour into your people. It will reap the rewards of enjoyment and joy for you, mm -hmm. but it also will help you be more successful and grow your business. And um, the more you put into your team, the more everything else will fall into alignment. And it's amazing, isn't it? I, I get to travel a lot on the back of these semis, I don't know which company it is, I think it may be J.B. Hunt, says our most important asset sits 63 feet ahead of you. Oh, I love and that. And it's really saying, it's the driver, it's the people. And I remember as a new employee, I would hear people as our business and all this stuff, and you're like, yeah, right. But as a business leader, I echo and say yes and amen to everything you just said. Yeah. Hey, business leaders, it is about your people. Hey, are you treating your people great? And for everybody who's listening today, here is the challenge I would have for you. What are you doing to invest in yourself? But more importantly, what are you doing to invest in others? I'm inspired by your story. 
I'm taking some stuff away today that I'm going to incorporate in my business. Hey, thank you so much for being a part of the podcast and making us better. Thank you so much, Joe. What a blessing. Thanks. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Monday Money Tip Podcast. Presented by I Was Broke, Now I'm Not. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a review and subscribe. And for more great content and to stay up to date, visit IWBNIN.com. We'll catch you next time.